everyone, today I am doing a Top 10 Tuesday video and it's going to be a day late because I was very busy yesterday doing... What was I doing? I don't even remember what I was doing, but I remember I was distinctly busy. It's, um, Top 10 Tuesday is a weekly meme hosted by The Broken and the Bookish. I will leave the link below. Um, so yeah, today's, or yesterday's rather I'd say, theme was Top 10 Books You Would Play Hooky With, which pretty much means, I guess it's to, to interpret it your own way is the, the books that I would call out sick for just to read at home and say I called out sick. So yeah, I'm going to show you some. I had a hard time picking. I always do a top 10 doozies because there's so many books and I just have such a hard time narrowing it down. <laughs> anyway, the first, um, and if I can put pictures in, I will. I, my video software does not allow me to put pictures in like to the side like a lot of people's does. I don't know why. If somebody t can tell me how to do that with Windows Movie Maker. I would be grateful for that, <laughs> which I doubt that it could happen. But anyway, um, pictures might be here, it may not. Either way, I will try my best. <laughs> the first book I would definitely 100% play hooky with, with is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. It's coming out in May, I think. I should know the exact date because I love Divergent so freaking much, but I don't. But I would, I would actually, this is, would be the only book, I will say, that I would really honestly consider calling out for work just to read. I'm not kidding. I would probably call out for work to just to read it. And that is quite sad, quite not, because I know a lot of other people feel the same way. I just cannot wait for the second book to come out. I just can't, I can't wait for it to come out. It's going to be amazing. The second book um, I would like to hook you with is Tempest by Julie Cross. If you don't know, I've mentioned this video a couple of times. It's about time traveling. I'm not going to go much in descriptions here today. But um, I know it's, it sounds like it's going to be very, very, very amazing. And I just seriously cannot wait to read it. I could just see myself hold up all day reading that book. <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> the third book is The Selection by Kiera Cross. And I do not know when this one's coming out, but this is um, one of the top, um, one of the debuts of this year. And I, this is probably one of the most anticipated ones, I like to say, because I just think the premise of it sounds so amazing. And I just can't wait to read about it. And... Uh, if the cover stays the same from what it looks like now, I, w I can't wait to read it because it's just such a beautiful cover, but it looks really, really freaking good. That's all I'm going to say. We have A City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, which is coming out this year, which is the fifth book, I believe, in the Mortal Instruments series. And I, can't, I, could, I could lock myself in a room all day to read that book as well because I love that series. It's one of my favorite series ever. The next book is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Anna, is it Anna Perkins? Stephanie Perkins by Stephanie Perkins. Um, I loved Anna and the French Kiss. It was beautiful. I read that in a day. So I'm like, hmm, I could probably call Hookie and just, you know, read Lola in a day. Why not? The next book is Reckless by Cornelia Funk. This is kind of an adventure book, and I'm really kind of into adventure books right now since um, I saw The Hunger Games. <laughs> uh, but um, I would love to read that book in one day as well. Or, well I'm saying like one day, like this is one day to read it. It's just books I would call hooky with. So, you know, I would love to play hooky with that book. It sounds amazing. The next book, I'm going to put um, The Pretty Little Liars series by um, Sarah Shepard. And I'm putting the series because they're quite thin books, and I think that. You can read a good chunk of them in a day, probably, honestly. That's just how I feel. I have read books one through five, and I don't know how many more are left, but I need to read them, and I know I could probably get them done in a day. And I really like that series, actually, which is weird because I like reading it, but I'm not a huge fan of this show. I was at first, but I think when shows, and I when I watch the shows and I read the books, they're so different that I just like or hate the other one. Like with Gossip Girl, I love the show, not a huge fan of the books. With Pretty Little Liars, huge fan of the books, not a huge fan of the show. That's just how it is with me. I don't know. But um, I want to watch the show, but it's just they're very different. And I understand that because shows have to, they can't go right onto the book because that would just be physically impossible and it would be probably the most boring TV show you've ever seen in your life. But um, I don't know. I just can't get into it. I should try though. Maybe when I finish the series and it's done, I could, you know, get into the show. Anyway, I'll, I'll forget that ramble because I always do that. Um, the next book is Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. I, if you guys know, I love Delirium, and the sequel's already out. So, and it's, it's like right up, it's up there. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, and I just have been wanting to reach it 
every day, but I don't know what's making me stop. But I just should take a day and play hooky with it, rather, I should say, and read it because it looks like it's, it's going to be an amazing book. I just know it is going to be an amazing book. The next book is Paranormacy by Kirsten White. I've heard very, very good things about this book. It's kind of a supernatural book dealing with ghosts and, like, I don't know exactly the gist of it, but I've heard amazing things. I believe it's already a sequel out called Supernaturally, I think. I think. I think. I think. I'm not sure. I'm awful about stuff. Sorry. But it sounds like an amazing book, and I would love to read it. And the last book I have on my top ten books I would love to play hooky with is Inside Out and Outside In by Marie Bean Snyder. And I say that because, I want to say that just because I found this bad boy in Walmart the other day. Ignore the price sticker. Um, which is, all oh, my books just felt cool. Uh, <laughs> all because it takes one book down. Did you hate that? But um, I found this in Walmart the other day and I was like, this is a pretty thick book for outside, Inside Out. I've never seen it that thick before. And I'm like, oh, it has Inside Out and Outside In. So it's like a bind up. And it has two of them both of them pretty much for the price of seven dollars like who could beat that two books for the price of seven um for the price of one actually should i say but um i could literally spend a whole day reading this one this this the idea for this book sounds amazing i don't know much about it um i didn't really research this video i wasn't even planning on making this this week but i just thought i shouldn't put a video up but um anyway those are the top 10 books i would play hooky with what are your top 10 books that you would call in sick for and say i'm sick but I actually want to read all day. I want to read this book. But you can't say that because you'll fire me. What are those books for you? Um, I hope you guys are having a great and beautiful week. And I will catch you guys later. Alright, bye.